Well, I just planted the aquaponics tower, the hydroponics t tower, at this point, rather. And um, yeah, I'm having some second thoughts. I'm going to play with this a little bit more, and then uh, I'll put together a video. I've taken a lot of footage for you, and uh, then I'll, I'll share it with you, let you know what I find. But in the process of gardening this spring, so far I've made a few mistakes, and that's led me to you know, want to put together a... I don't know, just a, a little video to give you some pointers and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes and then a couple of other good ideas. So five gardening tips um, that you can use if you're uh, beginning gardening in the spring. Number one, plan ahead. You know, my challenge was is I planted some warm weather plants too early uh, in the spring inside. And then when it came time to need to plant some more plants, I ran out of space and I rushed some of my warm weather plants out of my grow room, out from under my grow lights. And the problem ended up being that um, I had some basil that was, that was hurt by that. Um, I'm struggling with some of the sunflowers and the yard long beans from Blake Kirby. Um, those are having a tough time. Now I only planted six of them because I, I knew that this could happen, but think ahead. Now another thing too is if you have grow lights like, like here in my grow room, uh, the yard long beans grew tall very quickly and grew into the light which made me have to raise my lights and therefore wasn't able to keep my lighting as low as what I would like to have for the rest of the plants that are started right there you know, here in the grow room. So uh, just think ahead, that's all I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting, map it out and you know, come up with a solution and a good plan that you can have you know moving forward and then take notes for the following year so that you know what to do you know, different the next year. Number two, get lots of buckets or something to mix things in and um, the reason why I say that is you know us we like to get oh we could go and you know pick up some of the leaves out of the the flower bed or or we could go to the store and, and get some peat and we need to be able to mix things together and mix in some rock dust and some mineral dust, etc. And um, you need buckets, and you need buckets for storage, especially if you have powdered material um, like a rock dust that, or a powdered fertilizer, maybe it's an or powdered organic fertilizer, and you don't have storage inside the house, and it's going to be out where the moisture isn't controlled very well. You need to be able to seal that up, so have lots of buckets. Um, keep your eye out on Craigslist. You can find buckets on Craigslist. You can get them at, uh, uh, well, off of FreeCycle, uh, FreeCycle.org. And uh, you can buy them at the store. And in my case, uh, I bought a couple of buckets at the store. Number three, this is my big mistake. If you're planting in pots, don't plant cool weather plants and warm water weather plants in the same pot if you're still in the early springtime. That's what happened to me with the lettuce and the basil. And because of that, the lettuce nor the basil has done very well. However, there's been some basil casualties. And um, so, you know, just think ahead when it comes to that. Um, if I would have planted them in separate pots, I would have been able to bring the basil in at night or sooner in the day, rather, but the lettuce was needing some of that cool weather. So um, just you know, think about that. And again, that comes back to planning ahead, but it's something that you need to be cognizant of. Now, if it was later in the season, you probably wouldn't have to worry about it so much. But then again, if you're planting in pots, you need to move your cool weather plants in the shade and keep some of your hot weather plants out in the sun. Number four, use what you have. The reason why I say that is I made that video, um, here I'll put an annotation somewhere up here, uh, but I made a video on uh, how to make the, the air pruning pots. And that's a simple way to use, I use what I had, but you know you can pick those things up from a nursery or um, uh, behind like a Lowe's or a Home Depot, one of the box stores, and they're just going to throw them out. But you can take those things home and you can make air pruning pots. So uh, if you want to check that out, watch that video. And then just relax and have fun. Remember, gardening is it's therapeutic. It can be. Um, I have fun with gardening even when I have failures or make mistakes. And <laughs> speaking of mistakes or failures, I don't know how this is going to work, so 
don't hold me to it, but I, I do have a lot of footage and I'll put together a video to just kind of give you an overall of, of my thoughts on it um, so far. But just have fun, you know. I'm having fun doing this. I think you're all having fun following along. And if you have suggestions, that's what this YouTube forum is for. And if you're watching this video, then you're on YouTube. So uh, interact with us, uh, the gardening community, and enjoy it. So that's all I have for now. I hope this video has been helpful and informative. Please share it if, uh, if it has helped you. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. You know, I'm, I'm sorry i got to tell you to do that. But um, in a way, I kind of enjoy that. If somebody tells me to give them a thumbs up, at least I remember to do it. So, um, But thank you. Thank you for being here. And I uh, look forward to more very shortly. God bless. Okay, well, like I've been doing here recently, I've been putting a couple of videos for you to watch here at the end, and I uh, went ahead and put the air printing pots uh, here at the end because I thought that it'd be good for you to go and watch that if you haven't, since I mentioned it in the video. And then uh, second of all, um, I've, I've been going through some of my older posts, so, or older videos rather, and I've been posting them as blog posts to the website. So. Uh, one of them that I recently posted to the website was how to make compost tea cheap, and I thought it was a good valuable uh, video to put up at this time of the year. So I hope you find it informative, and um, don't forget to be good to uh, everybody around you and, and to pay it forward and to make a difference in the world.